Hi guys, Ben here again from the 401 Files. I'm just checking in really quickly with you. Um, just because I've had a thought in the last 15 minutes. I'm out walking Lily and um, it started to really grate on me because I do hear it a lot. And if I'm not hearing it, I see it a lot on other people's videos down in the comments box below. And on news stations as well, whenever they're interviewing um, UFO witnesses or alien abductees. They always ask this same question, which is... Can I just ask a question? Did you have an interest in the UFO phenomenon before your actual experience? And it's absolutely stupid to ask that question because what they're doing, and it's clear for everybody to see, is they're trying to find flaws in your story so they can, gra so they can grip onto that and start to pull you apart from there onwards. And if you say, yeah, well, yeah, I did have an interest, actually. I was quite keen... Um, always into the UFO phenomenon before my experience, then they're going to say, ah, right, okay, so that's what it is then. That's what it is. Because you had an interest before your experience, it's likely that you've made up these false memories in your mind. It's ridiculous to, to assume or think that. But that is what they're doing. That's the angle that they're going for when they ask that question. But me, I see it from a different point of view. I think if you are into UFOs and you do show a keen interest and you're serious about the phenomenon then you're almost the equivalent of a trained observer, which is what we call pilots. And that's why when pilots have experiences or they have a sighting of some strange object in the sky, people often say, ah, it must be quite credible, actually, because he's a trained observer, he's a pilot. And, well, that's what ufologists are. That's what people who study the field of UFOs are. We spend a lot of our time looking at fakes, looking at hoaxes, and we know what weather balloons are, we know what Venus looks like, we know what satellites are, we know what drones can do, we know what swamp gas is, we've seen weather balloons before, we know all these different things. And so that question of, was you interested in the UFO field before your experience, should actually strengthen your case and make it more believable than the latter of, ah, right, okay, that's why it's not real then. It's absolutely ridiculous when they ask that question. Um, the next thing that I always see or hear is people saying, for example, if there's a UFO incident and two years down the line, the guy comes out and says, yeah, I hoaxed it. Everyone goes, ah, it's been proven. It's a hoax. It's been proven. Let's put it to bed. The guy's even admitted it was a hoax. Hang on. Whoa, hold up. Why are we so quick just to take his word for it? I get that he's, he was the one that had the experience, and I get that he's now saying it was a hoax, but what? You want me just to say, okay, yeah, I believe you as well. No, I, I judge everybody. The people that say they have the experience and the people that are denying the experience, I judge everybody, with the, I paint everybody with the same brush. I'm not just going to believe you now because you're saying this was a hoax, because for all I know, you could have been forced to say that. Just like Jesse Marcel Jr. was at Roswell in 1947. Jesse Marcel Jr. was a trained observer. He was a professional, a well-trained soldier, officer even. You're telling me that he didn't know what he found on that ranch? Wasn't a weather balloon? Come on now. But then when Jesse Marcel Jr. came out and said, oh yeah, no, I got it wrong. It was actually part of a specialised weather balloon, a top secret um, project where the US military was dealing with weather balloon, high altitude weather balloons. Come on now. When he sat down in front of that material on the floor and that photo was taken, everybody knows that he was forced to do that. Everybody knows that Jesse Marcel Jr. was forced into that position to sit there and say openly that, yes, I got it wrong. He never got it wrong. He knows he didn't get it wrong and everybody else knows that. But in this day and age, we don't think that people who come forward and say, yeah, I got it wrong, we don't think that, that they're telling the truth. We think... Actually, he's come out and he's, he's admitted that this was a fake. I don't care if he's admitted it's a fake. I don't care if he admits that he hoaxed it because Jesse Marcel Jr. was forced to do and say similar things. But I don't believe for one second that Marcel Jr. got it wrong. He even came out years later and admitted that he was forced to say those things. So why now, and I'm talking specifically about the crop circle footage that I recently posted, where a lot of people said that the guy came forward and said that he hoaxed it. I don't care. He may have done, and it may be a hoax. But I'm not stopping my investigation there. I'm not stopping my search for truth there because we all know what the military are like. We all know what the governments are like. 
and they will force people to say things that they don't want to say in order to keep this quiet. People's lives have been threatened. We've all heard about the Men in Black. I recently did a video about that, a quick chat with you guys about the Men in Black. We've all heard the tactics that they use. They're not nice. And so when somebody, somebody does come forward um, to the media or the press and says, yeah, it was me, I faked it, let's not be so quick to think, oh, right, let's put it to bed then, it was a fake because he's admitted it. No, the guy could have been forced to say that because if it's a choice between embarrassing yourself and saying, yes, I faked it, even though you didn't, or seeing your kids ever again, ever again, you're going to jump on them screens and be like, yes, it was me, I hoaxed it, because you don't want anything bad to happen to you or your family. Nobody does. But that's the pressure that these people are put under. Anyway, guys, that's enough of me ranting. Um, I've lost my dog. <laughs> Lily. But, um, yeah, that's enough of me ranting, guys. I just thought I'd share those thoughts with you. Let's not be so quick to judge... Um, people when they come forward and claim that they've hoaxed things they may have done i um, mean a lot of cases i'm sure they have but there are cases throughout history that we know of where the person on screen saying i've hoaxed this it was me it was all my fault didn't hoax anything they had a genuine experience so i'll leave you guys to think about that you've been awesome take care of yourselves look after yourselves wherever you are and uh, stay safe i'll see you guys on the next one